Hello and welcome! So today we are going to be talking about our Gen 3 Decomp ROM Hacking Tutorial Series. Um, so the, in this series we are going to be going over how to create a Gen 3 ROM hack from scratch and we are going to be talking about using the decompilations of the original Poke Emerald and Poke Fire Red games. So these decomps were created by the Pokemon Reverse Engineering team and basically what they are is they took the original, you know, the Pokemon Emerald GBA ROM and they reverse engineered the binary and, uh, you know, reversed it back into its base C code, into the, uh, you know, the graphics files and uh, they made it so that when you, when you compile all of this together um, using, you know, our C compiler, uh, it will end up creating a vanilla Poke Emerald, a vanilla Emerald ROM, completely 100% identical to the regular Emerald ROM that Nintendo released. Now, what this allows us to do is it allows us to edit the source code directly, and it allows us a lot more flexibility in what we can change, and the things, the like, it allows us to, you know, break through a lot of limits that the old method of ROM hacking, binary hacking, you know, put on us uh, in the past. So in the old method, we had to edit the ROM directly. We could, we had to worry about a lot more. We had to worry about offsets and memory locations of our scripts and our images. Um, but in, you know, with the decomps, all of that, you know, kind of goes out the window, uh, you know, within reason. Uh, um, because the game handles it, the, the compilation handles it dynamically. We don't have to worry about it as much, which allows us, it saves a lot of time and it has made ROM hacking the Gen 3 games so much easier. It has never been easier than it is now to get into ROM hacking. And that is why I'm creating this series, because as of now, there are a lot of text tutorials on uh, Poke Community and in the wiki in um, Poke Emerald. Um, there's a lot of tutorials here, but there aren't as many, there aren't really almost any at all videos other than one short series about how to get into the decomps on YouTube. Um, so I wanted to provide a, you know, an avenue for more people to get into um, the ROM hacking scene since with these decomps it has legitimately never been easier than it is now. Um, so we're going to talk about our series a little bit uh, and get into some of the overall topics, the, the categories that we are going to need to learn to uh, figure out how to create our own ROM hacks. So um, our tutorial series is broken up into, you know, a couple different sections. Um, these sections are, you know, labeled with numbers. We have the zero section, the one, the two, the three or the, the 0, 1, 2, 3, and then the C index for our videos. The 0 index videos are for kind of setup related videos, how we actually, you know, compile and set up our, you know, uh, you know, our dev environment to begin with, to start with. Our 1 index videos are for our mapping program, uh, which we have here. This is our mapping program. It's called PoriMap. Um, and it allows us to um, change all of our, it allows us to, you know, draw on our map, create new, um, you know, maps, worlds, everything related to that. It allows us to add our NPC event objects. It allows us to end our, our triggers and, um, you know, our signs. Um, it allows us to edit our music and our, um, also the wild Pokemon um, inside of our maps. If we check on another one, we can see here the Pokemon in this map. Um, so PoriMap allows us to do a lot um, of the stuff that we need to do to learn how to create a ROM hack. So our one index series is all about PoriMap. Now our two index series is about PoriScript. PoriScript is our overworld uh, scripting language that we use when we want to interact with our overworld event objects. So all of our event objects have scripts, including these signs um, and these, uh, you know, all of these scripts are handled by PoriScript. There's another scripting language that the game, the there's a more, uh, 
low-level scripting language that PoriScript compiles into that you can also use. Um, but one of the benefits of using the decomps is we're able to use this nice, you know, higher level language to write our overworld scripts instead of this is what the um, compiled version of PoriScript looks like. Uh, and it's a little more verbose. Um, but with PoriScript, you know, this is a lot more English. You know, this is a script when the rival battle is over, it locks, it applies a movement that makes the character leave. You know, we can kind of infer that. It waits, it removes an object, and it sets some flags. You know, some of that's, that's not going to make any sense to you, but by the time you watch these PoriScript videos, it's going to make complete sense to you. Uh, um, so our two index videos are for PoriScript. Our three index videos, which we only currently have one of, uh, but our three index videos are for graphics, which obviously is a very important topic. Um, you're generally going to want to, you're going to want to create new tile sets um, over here so you'll have new things to add into your scene. You'll want to create new, um, you know, objects, you know, graphics for your overworld characters. You want to create new sprites for your Pokemon. Um, you know, um, everything under the sun, graphics is going to be where our tutorials related to that topic are. Um, now, the last category that we currently have set up is the C category. Um, the name is self-explanatory. Um, the C category has videos related to the C programming language. Um, so while our overworld events are written in PoriScript, um, the engine itself um, is mainly written in C. And, you know, it compiles down to thumb assembly code, um, and that is what is run on the GBA's, you know, processor. It's an ARM 7 TDMI processor. Um, but anyway, um, so we have to interact with C a lot when we're programming, uh, when we're adding, you know, more complicated features to uh, to the, you know, to your ROM hack. And this right here is a, a, a the main thing that sets us apart from uh, uh, ROM hacking in the binary hacks. So binary hacking, when we're doing this, it's a lot more complicated. Generally, you kind of need to write the C code yourself, compile it yourself, and then copy the assembly language into locations in the ROM, and then change other locations to call it, and it gets really complicated. But here, we can write the C code directly and call it. We can call it from PoriScript if we want. We can call it from, uh, you know, other locations in the C code. So this, um, you know, this C code right here, if we look um, at some of the stuff that it says, this C code checks all the switch inabilities happening from fastest one to slowest. So this part of the code, it's checking the abilities of your Pokemon to see if they do anything when you switch on. Um, you know, things like that are handled in the C code. You know, this is the ba the battle mains.c, so this is our main file for our battle engine. Uh, and it handles a lot of, it handles most of the, the battle um, you know, related uh, functions, you know, drawing our battle scene and, you know, handling our battles. Um, so all of that stuff is handled in C, in Poke Emerald, in our decomp projects. Um, and it allows us to edit the engine way easier than it had ever been before um, when we were binary hacking. Now, the last tutorial uh, playlist I have here is just the overall everything in one playlist tutorial uh, playlist and it has like I said every video that we have published so far and it is in order of what I think is probably the best way of watching the videos some of them you know you can watch them in whatever order you want um, so there's not a like one specific best way of watching them. Obviously, most people are going to skip around based on what they've already figured out, what they still need to figure out. Um, but if you want to watch through it in order, this is kind of the order that I suggested. Um, um, so this playlist is all of our videos and, you know, obviously all of them will continue to be uploaded, uh, updated as time goes on because I have a lot more videos planned. I have 25 so far, um, and that's around where I feel comfortable sharing, you know, this video. I haven't been sharing the tutorial series yet because I didn't want to start sharing it when I only had a couple videos. I wanted to make sure that there was enough substance that people could actually gain something from watching them. Um, before I started sharing them. So now that we have 25, that seems like a good enough number for me. 
uh, to create this video and uh, officially announce our series. But anyway, this is not the end of the series. I have a lot more. Um, there are multiple graphics videos planned. This one kind of goes over some of the general stuff and then changing a Pokemon sprite. But I have stuff about tile sets, which also ties into Porymap because the tile sets are also handled in Porymap. I have a lot more Pori script videos related to all sorts of overworld scripting events. Um, I will have a lot of C adjacent videos. Um, related to things inside of the engine because a lot of these C videos are specifically about um, like C syntax and the different types of things and C like pointers and structs and type def and all of that you know nitty gritty but none of it yet is about actually editing the engine itself. Um, there are some 4.0 videos that uh, I have not actually put in a separate playlist yet. A 4.1, which is a little editing C, a 4 editing starter Pokemon, which is ed editing C, and also a shiny odds one, 4.2, which is editing C. And in Hello. those videos, uh, you know, we, we might put some of the more engine editing videos in that 4 section and create a new playlist for it eventually, but for right now I don't think they're special enough to have their own playlist. But anyway, so that is the overview of our tutorial series. So we, um, you know, like I said, we're going to continue making them. Um, I have at least a dozen more planned, probably more than that, significantly more than that. Um, and even some hack specific related videos um, on some hacks that I've been working on um, that should be coming out shortly. So make sure to subscribe if you are interested in creating ROM hacks. Um, we are going to continue you know, with our series, pushing it further. Right now, we kind of have, you know, been editing the starter scene and creating like, you know, building up what it would be like if you were to create a new town, but we've just been editing an old town, how to add a Poke Center and a Poke Mart, well, switch them, and uh, a new, you know, laboratory with a new starter selection that actually has nine different options for starters. You can choose between the region, stuff like that. We've been working on uh, overworld Pokemon encounters, trainer battles for your rival, trigger events, things like that we've been working on. Um, but, you know, we still have a lot of ways to go. There's still a lot to cover. And uh, if you want to see all of that stuff as we're going on, you're going to want to make sure to subscribe. Um, you know, if you have any questions, um, you can also leave a comment and we will hopefully get to them. Um, otherwise, uh, we will see you in the videos on the next ones.